you guys welcome back to my channel life as miss cooks where our goal is to inspire and encourage other homeschooling families today i'm here with a review um, for you as many of you know we are part of the homeschool review crew so we receive um, different things throughout the year that we can review this time we actually received a movie which i'm excited about because our family typically likes to do at least one maybe two sometime movie nights um, each week and so our family um, received life with dog from mill creek entertainment and we will be giving you guys a summary of the movie and then telling you guys what we thought about it so my kids are going to join me uh, my husband can because he's at work although he watched it with us we did watch this movie two full times and then partially watched it a third time i um, we had it playing during the morning while we were cleaning and things like that, but we didn't finish the whole movie. So anyways, without further ado, I'm going to have my kids to come and join us or join. I'm sorry. I'm going to have my kids come and join me so that we can tell you all about this movie. Okay, so I have my boys with me first and um, I'm going to have each of them tell you what they thought about the movie. Give me one second, boys. Okay, so I have my boys with me first. I'm going to first kind of give, actually, I'm going to give my summary of the movie last because I'm going to let you kind of hear from the kids about the movie first. So we'll start with you. What did you think about the movie? Or what was the movie about? It was about an old man. He had just lost, he had just lost his wife in a car accident. Well, in a bike accident because she was riding her bike and a car hit her. And so she had died from that, and so he was he was grieving really bad, and he couldn't get over the uh, loss of his wife. So he started to blame people for her loss, and he started to think that uh, people had her killed. Uh, the, he started to think that the bank, because he uh, originally he thinks that people want his house because his land. They had a new development that they were putting together. Oh. And so they were trying to buy the houses to give them more room for the development. Oh, yeah. And so he thinks that uh, everybody that works with that company or that forecloses on houses is trying to get his house. And he thinks that they had his wife killed. And so he's kind of um, going through the motions, kind of. Okay. But what did you think about Joe's personality? I think his personality was funny. I like it. Uh, he had a really big imagination. But it's a, it's a good movie. It's funny. I like it. And he does, but uh, he has a dog. And his dog helps him somehow get his life back in check. And, and he brings happiness to his life. Okay. Elijah? Um, it was a good movie. I liked, uh, um, well, the movie was about a man named Joe. He lost his wife in a bike accident because he couldn't find his glasses. So he had to turn time back around and he got in a bike accident and she ended up dying. So then after that, um, he was sad, depressed. He always, he sat in this one chair and had on a sweater when it was hot. Um, he was able to like picture what his wife would say. Like when he would do crazy things, he would be able to picture what his wife would be saying. Mm -hmm. Or say and she would it. normally say what? Would she lead him into to make a bad decision or a good decision? Good decision. Mm -hmm. Cause she would question what he was doing and things like that. Okay. And he didn't, some of the things she said, he didn't like it, and he didn't believe in God. So when his daughter came, she said something about God 17 times in 30 minutes. And he doesn't like God, because he prayed to God twice when his son when his, He did what? He, he prayed to God twice. Okay. When his son died, and when his mom died. His mom or his wife? His wife. Uh-huh. Wife. Uh-huh. And, um... So you think he lost faith in God because God um, didn't prevent them from dying? Um, yes, ma'am. Okay. Do you think that's right? No. Why? Because it's rude to lose faith in God if you didn't prevent someone from dying. Everyone's going to die someday. 
Very good. So that opened up discussion for us to talk about, you know, God and his will because everything is in God's will, right? And we can't control the way that he's already planned out the will of our lives, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Anything else you'd like to add? What did you think about Joe's personality? It was good how, like, he was able to know what his wife was saying, how he started to listen to people. He kind of stopped accusing closer to the accused, started he kind of started to stop to accuse people at closer to the end. Okay. He finally, he was, uh, he, he became good, kind of. Okay. 50% good, 50% the same still. So, I can't help but to think, so you said it's okay that he was able to talk to his dead wife? I didn't say it was okay. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I thought you said it was okay because he got to talk. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I missed. I said it, it, it was a good personality. How he was like able to think, um, no, or think, or know what his wife would have said if okay. he was still alive. So you think when he was seeing his wife and talking to her, that was really just him kind of thinking about what she would say in that situation type thing? Yes, okay. Right. That's a good perspective. All right. Well, thank you, boys. I'm going to have the girls come and give their thoughts on the movie. But before you go, would you recommend this movie to other families? Oh, yes, yeah, sir. Okay, what about you? Um, I would, besides if people don't like it for their children if they're under five. Okay, so you think it'll be okay for kids five and up? Over five. Over five? Okay. Gotcha. Thank you so much. And how old are you? Ten. And how old are you? Thirteen. Thank you, guys. Okay, so we're back with the girls, and they're going to tell us what they thought about the video. I'm sorry about the angle of this video, guys. I cannot find my tripod. And so it's kind of like this whole weird looking up at us angle. So forgive me. But anyways, so we'll start with you. What did you think about the movie? That movie was really good. It was... It wasn't sad, but it was kind of sad because, I mean, he lost his... First, he lost his child, which was 13. Then, he lost his wife after 27 years of marriage. Oh, no, it was way longer than Ooh, that. I know. Sorry, that's 45. the dogs. Close. Down. 43. 43 years. How many months? 43. 43 years, years 17 30. months. No, 43 years... You had your time. Huh? You had your time. Twenty-three years, eighteen months, seventeen days. Eighteen months. That's more than a year. Cause how many months are in a year? Oh, wait. Then was it twelve? No. Nope. Nine. Somebody already said it. Seventeen months. Nope. Seventeen months is more than a year. How many months are in a year? Uh, twelve. Okay then. So it could be. What was it? Forty-three years, eight months, seventeen days. Eight twelve months. days. Twelve days. So 43 years, you were really close. Eight months and 12 days is how long he was married. Okay, carry on. So sad. Huh. But uh, he blamed all those people, and it was technically it was his fault his wife died. Because, I mean, he was talking to her crazy. He wanted her to come back home. And then like, the minute she turned around, he died. I think I was blind. They were blind on the table. That's why I could have seen those. This is why he needed them. He didn't have them on. He couldn't find them. And so then the wife was like, just use my glasses. And he was like, no, I want my own glasses. How far are you? She was like, just down the road, but I have to do my ride. And he was like, turn around right now. I need my glasses. So what did, I mean, do you think he was a good person, bad person? What do you think about his relationship with God? It was terrible. Okay. I mean, he went to church because his wife wanted him to. So but what do we call that? There were two people married that didn't believe the same thing. What do we call that? They were what? Un what? Un un yoke. Unequally yoked. Un uh -huh. Oh, unequally yoked. Yeah, and so they were unequally yoked. However, he did he did attend church with his wife. Girls, stop. We he did attend church for his wife, um, but then he was angry with God because his son died and then his wife died and so he was angry with him so what was something during the movie you noticed something about when the wife appeared 
and then when she left, what was oh, that? Oh, yes. It was all bright before the wife, when the wife was there. And then I don't know when the wife, disapp when the wife disappeared. It was so dark. And gloomy. Like, it was, it was. <clears throat> sorry, guys. I'm trying to keep my notes up. Right. So it was gloomy when the wife was gone. So it kind of puts into perspective how, as women, we, we set the tone for the house. And we can either brighten up a home or we can bring a cloud of darkness over the home. <clears throat> I know for us, when I'm in a bad mood, everybody feels it. All right? True. It does. However, when I'm in good and I'm in a good mood and I'm nice and I'm cheery, then everybody feels that also too, right? True. Okay then. So they the woman kind of sets the tone for the house. But anyways, so what was your thought on the movie? Let me scoot this way. I liked it. I thought it was a pretty good movie. I liked the storyline behind it and how the dog um, helped him. Like, the dog's like sort of like therapeutic almost. It was like to put his emotions towards something else instead of being angry because he had something else that he had to take care of. And he ended up caring about the dog. And so then he didn't really have time to be angry or to have any built up um, animosity or regret or grief or guilt or anything like that. And so, life with dogs. And so, <laughs> I, I really like that. I didn't like at first how he treated his daughter and how he brought up things that she had done in the past, like when she had made mistakes after her brother had passed, and he kind of like threw them up in, his, in her face, like when she was when he was angry. And he wasn't really considering her feelings in it. Now, that doesn't mean that he was a bad person. I think he was deep down a good person who just made bad decisions because he was speaking through her. And, yeah. Okay. So, um, that's a good perspective on it. So, I'm going to give my summary, although they kind of... I already said it. But first, would you recommend this movie to other families? I would. I really would. You would. What about you? Yes, I would recommend it to other families. Do you guys put an age cap on it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no, not really. Okay. I kind of agree with Elijah. I think maybe for older kids. Because I know with the younger kids, because Joe, who is the main character of the movie, he did have some anger issues um and so he had some outbursts where he was punching holes in the wall jacking people up threatening people with guns and things like that so for younger kids some people may not want their children to view that so just be cognizant of that when um watching the movie um i do want to tell you guys real quick though that this movie will be in walmart stores today june 4th um so you can buy it at your local Walmart. It is also available online um, at Amazon. So you guys, you want to hold it for them to see? So you guys should go check that out. I will leave a link down below in the description box to both of those places. And I will also leave a link down below um, so that you guys can hear what other homeschool families um, thought about the movie. As always, that would be down below as well too. Um, but overall, I thought it was a really good movie. It was about a guy named Joe, who Bigler was his last name. Um, and as the kids already stated, he lost his wife. She was actually on a bike and got um, hit by something. Maybe. Anywho, uh, he was struggling with dealing with that. So he kind of shut the whole outside world out and just stayed confined to his house other than going outside to... Um, water his wife's roses um, in the midst of all that his daughter would come over fre frequently to kind of try to talk to dad to try to tear dad up or whatever the case may be and kind of bring reality to his um, non-reality you're having a bad hair day girl um, so she would kind of try to you know help cheer him up he was kind of mean to her in the beginning out of anger because she was kind of pushy with okay look you need to get up you need to get dressed you need to do this mom wouldn't want this blah 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 and so he reacted in anger um and although it's okay to be angry but to sit in your anger is not okay so um anyways he went about accusing everybody there was a development across the street from his house 
were people were coming over trying to buy his home because they wanted the land. And he was upset with that. And so he was accusing them of it. Then he didn't pay his house note um, because the movie started, the, the movie took place three months after the wife had passed. So he hadn't paid his mortgage in that time. And so of course now the bankers were coming after him and so he accused them of doing it. I mean, he was just going out on a deep end accusing everybody. So, um, during this whole process, there was this dog that would come to his house and just randomly, he popped up in the backyard one day. I was like, what? Where did he come from? So he came through like a little hole in the gate or whatever, and he wouldn't leave. The man was so mean to the dog at first and just was like, go. He shot him with the water hose. The dog was just like, okay, well, I'll be back tomorrow. Um, and the dog, he didn't say that, but, but anyways, Elijah, please don't bump that. <coughs> so the dog was just very like, I'm here, hello, not going anywhere. I think, and I'm not sure, this is just my opinion, I think the purpose of the dog in the movie was kind of to act as his conviction or the Holy Spirit or whatever the case may be because every time he was about to make a decision, the dog would kind of make this face and he would be like, what, you don't think that's okay? And then on the flip side of that, he had his wife where she would appear and they would kind of have conversations and she would kind of try to talk him through things or whatever the case may be. So that was a little weird for me, um, but overall, I think the, I don't think the dog was the, I don't know, I'm trying to think what I'm trying to say. Overall, I think um, the dog was received, as my oldest daughter said, was therapeutic. So it kind of helped give him something else to do, um, although he was still just going in on everybody. But it just gave him something to do, something to look forward to. And so his daughter was telling him that, hey, you need to put out signs because we need to figure out where this dog um, lives, who he belongs to. It has to be someone's dog. So that as they were putting up signs or whatever, the dog leads him to this house. So does this house lead to the answer of the mysterious way that his wife passed? Does he give him answers? Does he ever find Jesus? Does he ever become saved? You guys will have to watch to wow. figure that out. Okay? That's a terrible ending. It was. That's okay, though. We're not going to give them all the deets. <laughs> now, my final thoughts. It was good. It was a pretty good movie. I do recommend it. Like I said, I, may, I, I would say maybe 10 or older, but then it just depends on you and your child um, and the things that you allow them to watch. The things to look out for, like I said, is his anger, punching holes in the wall, um, threatening people with guns, jacking people up, things like that. Um, a kind of argument, a feud between his daughter and himself. Other than that, it was it was good. It was a nice, clean movie. There was no cussing, although he insinuated using the word, like he mentioned to his wife, I'm going to drop some F-bombs, but he never said the words, um... There was no sex, no nudity, nothing like that in the movie. So it was a nice family movie. Opens up doors for many discussions, discussing anger and how to act with your anger, how to how to act um, with grief, how, how how to deal with grief. I'm sorry, how to deal with your emotions, how to um, have faith in God even when things don't go as you plan because. God has his own plan. Like, our plans is not God's plans. So we have to kind of follow in his plans. And sometimes we may not agree with his plans. Sometimes his plans may not go as what we assume. But having faith and trusting him in the process is what's important. So it opened up the doors for many discussions. And we are so grateful. So again, we thank you, Mill Creek Entertainment, for sending us the movie Life with Dogs. Um, be sure, like I said... It is available at your Walmart store today, June 4th, and it is also available on um, <clears throat> Life with Dog. I mean, I'm sorry. What am I saying? It is also available on Amazon, so you guys will want to go and check that out. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to click the link down below so that you guys can, and I will put a picture card, something, somewhere for you guys to see. So that you guys can check out what the other families on the Homeschool Review crew is saying about life with dog. Thank you. Have a great day.